Hey Natural Skin Warriors, we are on day five already and today's facial exercise is a very popular requested one and that is for eye bag reduction to help with that. Before I'm going to go through that, I'm going to cover blemish reduction and how to get glowing skin. And I'm covering this because it's a frequent question asked and, and that's to do with acne spots, acne scarring, frequent breakouts, blemishes, um, uneven skin tones. So... If you have, this is particularly, the most one is, is acne and acne scarring. And there's three products I recommend in rotation. Now the reason I have them is because if I do get any blemishes, these are the products I use. If my skin's feeling a bit dull, I will use that. If I want an extra treatment, I will go for something different. So in terms of acne scars and acne spots, I would recommend this fruit peel. It's a resurfacing serum and you put it on every other night in the evening after you've cleansed and toned. And it contains papaya enzymes, Australian lime, which smells amazing, pearl extract. It also has coconut water and hyaluronic acid to give your skin that boost of hydration. And it gently exfoliates, giving a softer, soothing skin tone. So this is great for any bumpy areas or any uneven skin. And you just need, again, this product will last three or four months. It asks it will last me a long time because I very rarely use it. I only really use it if something abnormal happens to my skin and I start getting lots of bumps underneath my skin, which just happen occasionally. But you just need two drops. After you've cleansed, toned, rub it in, apply it to your skin. Oh, no. oh my goodness. It feels so silky on my hands. You apply it to your skin and let it settle overnight. I'm only putting a little bit on because I don't actually need it, but it's just to show you. Oh, this smells delicious. All of these products just smell edible, apart from the super greens, which um, is questionable for some people. And then um, another option is something that you can use from time to time or alternatively every other day. It's something called um, Glowberry, and it's a brightening serum, and it contains vitamin C, super berries, kangaroo pore flower extract, and again, it's another product that smells amazing. And it's a brightening serum, so there's a difference between brightening and whitening. It won't whiten your skin, which I wouldn't recommend and don't recommend those type of products. It naturally brightens your skin. So you'd use a couple of drops. It smells absolutely delightful. And again, you would use this if you're looking for to brighten up your skin, if your skin's feeling a bit dull on a regular basis um, every other day. It's completely up to you. It's almost like an optional extra. But the product that is highly recommended for any type of blemishes, um, scarring, acne scars. So for acne treatments or when you've got over acne, you've still got the marks, the fruit peel, which I showed you before, um, every other day at night. Um, but then every day you would use something called Pure Lagoon. It looks absolutely amazing. And it's a blemish prevention serum. And so it's got biflavonoids in, prebiotics and blue spirulina, which gives it that beautiful blue color. And it really, really is good for that. It doesn't really have any smell. It kind of smells like the ocean, but not. I don't know how to describe it. It smells really nice. Three drops. And for me personally, when I use this, this product will last me about six months because I only use it if I start getting more blemishes than normal. I, for me, blemishes are around here. That's where I normally put it. And here. If I'm going to, especially in the time of the month, that's when it comes out. So I'll use it on those areas, move it in, let it dry, and then you would moisturise after with whatever moisturizer you're using. So I wanted to cover that because so many people ask about acne scars and treatments for it. And the remedy, that the natural remedy I found is uh, the fruit peel overnight and the Blue Lagoon blemish serum on daily. So, um, and even if you don't have acne, if you just get blemishes or breakouts, the Pure Lagoon, I keep saying Blue Lagoon because it's blue, the Pure Lagoon is, is the one that you want. And that's the one I use on my blemishes too. Right, let's get to your facial exercise. We are gonna do eye bag area. So, using your middle finger and your outer finger, like a scissor, I have a bent finger, I know, weird. You're gonna put it in the corner of your eye and to the corner, both to corners, corner to corner, here. Relax your face, relax your forehead, so don't be tense or tight, relax your face, facial muscles. Have your mouth slightly open and relaxed. And from here, you're just going to widen it slightly, but not pull. Open your mouth, and then you're gonna open your eyes wide and look up. Back forward, wide, but don't do this. You're not moving your eyebrows, just your eyes. Eyes wide, you're using the muscles here. Eyes, keep this tight here so it's not moving. Lift up.
And on your last one, you're gonna open them wide. So with your fingers, you're only tapping lightly with a slight pull. So you're not pulling down, you're not pulling up, you're not pulling to the side. You're just widening these two fingers. So it's just stretching the skin slightly under your eye. And on your last one, you're gonna open your eye, lift up and hold. back and relax so you can do that five to ten times um, you do feel um, it does feel awkward in your eyes the first couple of times that you do it and it almost feels like you, you, your eyes aren't bruised but it kind of gives you that type of finish because you've used your eyes in a different way to which you normally use if you don't do facial exercises and so you, you may you, what you're feeling is the fact that you've used them so that will you get used to that as you do it don't try and roll your eyes into the very back of your head. Just let them go as naturally as far back as they will and back down. For some people you'll see the whites, for some people you won't. Um, I do not recommend doing this exercise while I should drive it at all, for obvious reasons. So do it where you can concentrate and make sure you focus on not pulling your skin down or out. Just put your fingers here and let your fingers up move slightly, so just slightly widen. And now as you lift up, control this. No sprouting, no lifting here, just your eyes. Your, your eyebrows will move, you're not doing that. Eyes up and back, and your last one hold. So add that onto your exercises along with the other last few days. Um, do them once around each if you want, or twice, three times, however many times it takes you. Um, do what feels comfortable for you. I will keep stressing that. This is a, an enjoyable challenge, so don't feel stressed out to do it, because then obviously the stress will be in your face anyway, which defeats the object. So just do them when you can. If you miss an exercise, it doesn't particularly matter. If you want an area that you want to focus on the most, or if it's around your lines or your cheeks, then you can do those more than the other exercises. But do try and do all of them um, so your face stays symmetrical. Um, and I will see you tomorrow for a new exercise. See you soon. Bye.